In this video, I'm going to talk about how I respond to and how I mentally approach anybody inquiring about my vaccine status when it comes to COVID-19. I don't know about you guys, but I think a lot of us have been under this impression that we need to say the right things or come across the right way to not be judged, to not be chastised, and to be accepted by our friends, our family, our social groups, and maybe our, our world at large. Now, I think it's been a pretty damning experience for many of us. I certainly can speak for myself. I have not enjoyed trying to explain myself to people or trying to seek and gain and acquire approval from people. It's, it's gone pretty badly over the last year. Certain things have changed for me that I wanna share with you that apply pretty naturally to the more common question I'm hearing anyway about whether or not someone has decided to get the COVID vaccine. Here's how it works out in my head. This is my process, and maybe this can be useful to you. Please, in the comments below, let me know what your process is if you want. But when someone asks me that question, hey, are you vaccinated? Did you or will you? There's a couple things I do first. I have to check my motivations very, very carefully when it comes to this sort of thing. One of these polarizing and potentially divisive routes of conversation. And if any part of me whatsoever senses an internal pressure, which will clearly would be created by myself, it's all about my perception, right? But if I sense pressure to say the right thing, and if my motivation is to be accepted by whomever is asking, then I've gone down a path I don't want to travel. And that's not the type of person I want to be. So if I know the person really well, I know they have my best interests in mind, and I know that in general they're capable of engaging in a potentially divisive conversation, at least in terms of who thinks what and why, in a civil, respectful way, then sure, I'd be happy to answer that question with them because I trust them, I like them, and I also am not hanging my self-esteem in the balance. But if someone asks me and I get an alert system in my brain, go over that first part of the checklist, which is I don't know this person particularly well. I certainly don't know them on a personal level. Um, and I get a hormonal activation, maybe like a fight or flight sort of thing. That is an instant sign for me that I will not go down that path. I have no interest in going down that path and I don't need them to think or believe anything for me to be okay with myself. So I don't owe anyone an explanation about my personal medical history. Historically, if someone were to ask me a question that I started mind reading and uh, that would cause me to mind read, being like, oh man, I hope I say the right things. I don't want them to not like me. Maybe it's someone I really like or care about or someone I want to like and I want them to like me. I might panic and I might get defensive and I might lie. And, and who knows what type of personal value system violation I would partake in just to get through that situation. There have been some conflicts in the past that have been awful, man. Just freaking awful with people that I just will not, I won't do it today. I think this vaccine is a medical procedure and every single medical procedure comes with risks and comes with benefits. I take that into consideration with any medical procedure I personally take part in. And with that said, I think it's private information. That's just my personal opinion. And it's okay if you don't agree with me. I don't need your agreement to feel okay. And I don't need to be on the, uh, in any particular group to be congruent with myself and to have peace within myself. So I really, really check my motivations. And if someone presses and they're not okay with me saying, oh, hey, that's personal and I don't, I don't wanna talk about that. And if they say why and I choose to respond, again, it's just personal to me and I don't wanna explain myself. I'll ask them, are you okay with me not explaining myself? And that's a question maybe you wanna consider asking someone who's asking you that personal question. And let's say you have an instinct not to answer. So ask them if you're, they're all right with you not responding. Hey, you know, that's personal and I'd like to not talk about that. Is that okay? Because that way I'm just letting people know what I want. And if they're not okay with me not wanting to talk, then great, I can set a boundary and say, oh, I guess, I guess we're, we're done talking for today or for right now. And that's okay as well. And if anyone gets mad, that's okay. Like that's another thing to consider. Maybe, maybe I'll talk about this for just a moment, but if whomever you're speaking to, whoever asks you expresses anger, 
that's okay. They're allowed to be upset that I don't want to talk about this and that I will not talk about this. Um, they don't owe me anything. I don't owe them anything. They have every right to be upset and I have every right to set a boundary around that reaction if I need to for myself. That's okay. Uh, and they have every right to ask as well. Whatever keeps me from victimizing myself and or trying to victimize someone else, I'm good with. I'm all about just everyone doing what they think they need to do and people taking care of themselves and setting boundaries around what their truth is. I think that's really, really important. It seems to be working really well for me. People a lot smarter than me with a lot more experience have sort of led me down this path and it's nice. It's a good place to be, to just walk around, breathe in your truth, live your life and not worry about what other people say and what they think. Being mindful of my motivations and my intentions when it comes to why I would answer personal questions like that is everything to me because the last thing I want to do is try to match wits with someone to validate myself. And the very last thing, and another thing I don't wanna do is um, be codependent on anyone based on their reaction of me, period. Again, person I know, person I trust, person from whom I would take counsel and offer counsel, I'm happy to talk as long as it stays respectful. But everyone else, I can't. Not, not, not only do I not want to, but I cannot possibly care what you think of me when it comes to like an issue like this. Care in the sense that it would derail me or make me wonder about myself or, or detract me from my day-to-day -day life mission, life goal, self-esteem, my, my moral compass, my congruency, my sense of wellness. I, I will not go there. For me personally, Figuring out what things can bring us together and trying not to focus on differences is everything to me. And also I wanna make sure that in no way, shape or form, am I trying to impress my opinions onto someone else in a threatening way and like, a, ooh, I'm gonna perpetrate against you sort of way. I need to be right and I'm gonna to try to belittle someone and make them wrong. I will not do that either. I refuse, I absolutely refuse. And that's where I stand on that. So in the comment section below, Please let me know what you think. As long as you can remain respectful, even if it's in complete disagreement, uh, I'll leave your comment on there to read and for people to participate with because I think it's cool to talk about these things. I'm happy to talk to about these things respectfully with people, but I do have a few parameters. I do have a few guidelines that I stick to that are serving me very, very well, that are keeping me out of needless drama and needless conflict and making sure that I'm focusing on the things that really matter to me uh, in general. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And, and I do appreciate you. No matter what you think or believe, no matter where you stand on XYZ, I'm good with it. I, I have friends from every spectrum of every possible divisive topic. And I think that's pretty cool that I, I look to find common ground with everybody when possible. There are exceptions, of course, but when possible. That's just where I'm at in my life today. We'll see you guys in the next video. Adios, brochachos and muchachas.